Well, that heat is just brutal yeah. for anyone, pets, kids, the elderly, and that excessive heat, it's actually a health concern. Like Kevin said, tonight there are air quality alerts. Yeah, they're in effect. Staying cool is important. News 8's Josh Scheinblum live for us in New Haven with that. Josh? And in Darren, I'm here right outside of the emergency room at Yale New Haven Hospital. Medical personnel report to us that over the last several hours, they've seen an uptick in people coming through the door. The reason? That hot weather we're experiencing right now. I just wrapped up an interview with a doctor who works in that emergency room. He stresses when it's warm outside, people need to stay hydrated. Water should suffice, but drinks like Powerade and Gatorade aren't bad options either. Now, the doctor also told me people should know the signs of heat exhaustion. What are they? Some of the symptoms include confusion, dark colored urine, headache, nausea, muscle cramps, and dizziness. As for the hospital, they should be able to handle a large influx of people, they say, and they're ready to handle any situation they're presented with. Always ready for a surge capacity if needed, whether it's heat or something else going on, but we do have the, the facilities and the personnel to handle that if it were to really start ramping up. Now, the doctor also recommends that if you need to go somewhere that is cooler, make sure you do so. Now, we have a whole list of places on our website that are serving as cooling centers throughout our state. You can find them on our website at WTNH.com. For now, we're live in New Haven, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.